Hello fellow Asper photographers and welcome back to our channel. In the last two years we have been gradually upgrading our flat panels with better LED illumination, um, facelifted design and better modularity for flexibility. And lately we have even released uh, larger flat panels to, for apertures up to 8 inches. Um, but today I am very excited to announce the release of the flat panel 2. Now thanks to your feedback, uh, the Flat Panel 2 now offers even better performance and reliability, which makes it uh, very good for the professional observatory usage. Uh, the Flat Panel 2 contains the new ARM CPU and of course other mechanical uh, upgrades and advanced features. Now let's take a closer look. First, uh, let's go through the existing features which uh, we have retained and work just the same as for the Flat Panel 1. Uh, that's of course ASCOM driver, uh, Indy driver and ASIR compatibility. New ASCOM driver now supports six concurrent devices with automatic deep sky dead device detection, so you don't have to cast the COM ports anymore and find them in the device manager. This works for flat panel 1 and flat panel 2 just the same. The new control panel now works in Windows, Linux and Mac OS just the same. You can control opening and closing, LED brightness, heater, and additionally, you can configure ASIR behavior, manual button behavior, upgrade the firmware and configure some advanced settings, which I will explain shortly. The refresh rate of uh, LED panel was also increased, so now you will not get any bending uh, even at uh, sub millisecond exposures. We also made some uh, mechanical upgrades, so the flap can now open and close more smoothly. The electronics was upgraded with ARM Cortex processor along with USB-C connector instead of micro USB for more reliable connectivity. We will also offer an upgrade kit which will enable you to upgrade your flat panel 1 to flat panel 2 circuit. Now some of the other flaps on the market enable 8-bit resolution of brightness settings that means 0 to 255. Uh, while our flat panel enables higher resolution, you can select from 0 to 4096, which is basically a 12-bit uh, resolution. We have also retained the grab and go mentality, so you can simply put the flap onto the dew shield and tighten the head tightening knob. No clumsy zip ties are required. Uh, in context of this, uh, we also support upgradability mentality, so we can offer different compression rings for your different telescopes, you can simply swap them. The compression ring design means that our flap panels can really shine in professional observatories environment, where light leaks of classical zip tie panels can cause problems to the other nearby telescopes. Now let's check out some new advanced features which can be configured in the control panel. First of the advanced features is custom open position. You can use this if you have something mounted on the dew shield behind the flap panel so the flap does not hit it when it opens. The flap also now has advanced option of obstacle detection. This means if it hits an obstacle it will automatically close back or better said go to the previous position. With this feature we can also detect when the flap reached uh, open and closed position and that's why we also added uh, automatic uh, range calibration option to the advanced settings. You can check out details of existing features and new advanced features in the manual. I have put the link to the description of this video. Now let's get into the details of our refreshed lineup of flat panels. We are offering four different categories of flat panels. Three categories are the same as before, so motorized flat panels, um, the lens flat panels which can be attached to the front of the lens and uh, wall mounted flat panels which can be attached into the observatory and come in sizes up to 60 centimeters. Uh, but we have now also added the round flat panels which can be simply put on the opening of the telescope for quick uh, flat session if you have telescope hands-on in the morning. Now with that being said uh, uh, we have also refreshed uh, the lens mounted flat panels uh, now they come in facelifted design with the circuit on the back and the three bolts in the front to attach it to the lens. Let me show you quickly how it looks when it's attached to the lens. Um, additionally, we now offer lens uh, flat panels in three different sizes with illuminated LED surface from 75mm up to 145mm. Uh, 
Uh, now for the wall mounted flat panels, we will offer a renewed design which will have the connector on the panel itself and the control box separately which you will plug in to control it uh, remotely. Of course, all the variants of our flat panels also support ASIR, so it can be controlled directly from your ASIR setup. Okay, I think I have roughly covered everything that comes with the flat panel to release, uh, but that's not all of course. Uh, until the end of the year, you will be able to order the flat panels too at the same price as flat panel one with all the new features. And for the flat panel one users, as I mentioned before, we will make uh, a special kit so we will be able to upgrade the electronics of flat panel 1 to the USB-C and ARM Cortex processor for better reliability and performance. Oh, and I almost forgot, um, we are also developing 10-inch uh, flat panels which will of course uh, have all the features uh, of the new flat panel 2. Um, stay tuned on the YouTube and we will post the video once we have it ready. Okay, time to wrap this up. Uh, I have put all the relevant links in the description of this video, such as uh, flat panels landing page, software and documentation. Um, all the outstanding orders will also receive the new flat panel too. Um, and to finish this video off, let's take a look at the short time lapse of yesterday's Aurora. As you might already know, there was a strong geomagnetic storm. I hope you managed to catch it too. We had bad weather, but there was a short break in the clouds and I uh, tried to make a time lapse and got a glimpse of it. Let's take a look, enjoy. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to comment below. And as always, clear skies.